One of the engines in Edward's shed was called Gordon. He was very big and very proud. You watch me this afternoon, little Edward, he boasted, as I rush through with the express. That will be a splendid sight for you. Just then, his driver pulled the lever. Bye, little Edward, said Gordon as he puffed away. Look out for me this afternoon. Edward went off too, to do some shunting. Edward liked shunting. It was fun playing with trucks. He would come up quietly and give them a pull. Oh, 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 screamed the trucks. Whatever is happening. Then he would stop and the silly trucks would go bump into each other. Oh, 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 they cried again. He would push them until they were running nicely. And when they weren't expecting it, he would stop. One of them would be sure to run onto another line. Edward played until there were no more trucks. Then he stopped the rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. Gordon came puffing along, very slowly and very cross. Instead of nice shining coaches, he was pulling a lot of very dirty coal trucks. Good strain, good strain. Shame of it, shame of it, shame of it. Slowly through, the trucks clattering and banging behind him. Edward laughed and went to find some more trucks. Soon afterwards, a porter came and spoke to his driver. Gordon can't get up the hill. Will you take Edward and push him, please? They found Gordon halfway up the hill and very cross. Driver and fireman were talking to him severely. You're not trying, they told him. Can't do it, said Gordon. The noisy trucks held an engine back so. They were coaches now. Clean, sensible things that come quietly. That would be different. Edward's driver came up. We've come to push, he said. No use at all, said Gordon. You wait and see, said Edward's driver. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. Edward came up behind the brake van, ready to push. I'm ready, said Edward. No good, grumbled Gordon. The guard blew his whistle. They pulled and pushed as hard as they could. And I can't do it, Puffy. I will do it, Puffy. I can't do it. I will do it, they Puffy. Edward pushed and puffed. Almost before he realized it, Gordon found himself at the top of the hill. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, he said proudly. He got all about it worth pushing the line. He didn't wait to say thank you. Edward had pushed so hard that when he got to the top, he was out of breath. Gordon ran on so fast that Edward was left behind. He ran on to the next station. There the driver and fireman said they were very pleased with him. Fireman gave him a nice long drink of water. The driver said, I'll get out my paint tomorrow and give you a beautiful new coat of blue with yellow stripes. Then you'll be the smartest engine in the shed.